I was born and raised in San Francisco, California. I started working as a chef more than 13 years ago. In 2009, I decided to come back to Vietnam despite my parents' opposition. I wanted to see Vietnam with my own eyes. I want to explore one of the most stunning culinary cultures that has made so many celebrity chefs from around the world and bring new food to Vietnam. There are spectacular beauties in each region of Vietnam. At the end of the S-shaped land lies limitless fields of rice, majestic fruit gardens, and particular culinary treats from local purveyors. One day, you want to escape the big city hustle and bustle and put all of life's concern behind you. A trip visiting fruit and agricultural gardens would be a clever choice. Today, I invite you to join me on my journey to the Dom Nai province to explore some of the freshest fruits Vietnam has to offer. Mother Nature gives Vietnam some of the most amazing weather to grow tropical fruits. Our climate is known for lush rainfalls and sunny skies where people can grow the most delicious fruits known to man. Vietnamese fruits are known as one of the must-taste foods when you visit this country. From north to south Vietnam, every region is blessed with one traditional and outstanding fruit. Located about 90 kilometers away from Ho Chi Minh City, Lom Can is famous for its endless amounts of open-filled orchards filled with different kinds of fruits. Lucky for me, it's an ideal time to visit the fruit orchards here as it's harvest season. Michael Jackson, king of pop. Michael Jordan, king of basketball. But what's this? It's called durian. They call it the king of all fruits. Now they say foreigners and local Vietnamese can't see the smell of this. But this taste, it's amazing. So I'm gonna show you what durian's all about. The durian fruit is massively popular in Southeast Asia and has a title as the king of fruits. Ah! Woo, that was good. Fun fact, the durian is the only fruit banned from airline cabins, hotels, and public transportation. The reason you may ask? Durian is well known for its strong pungent odor that usually turns people off who haven't encountered the fruit for the first time. Do you think the king of fruits smell is overwhelming and disgusting? I don't like it. The smell is too much for me. I can't, um, yeah, the smell. Like rotten flesh, <laughs> dead person, dead animal. <laughs> it's, not, it's not unpleasant. No, no, it smells terrible. Oh, it's very pungent and strong. Um, not a good smell for us. A bad perfume. Oh, thank you. Not there. Not there. Okay. Durian was always a stigma. No one ever thought that it could be delicious. Why don't most Westerners like eating durian, but yet it's still affectionately called the king of fruit? To find out if the fruit deserves the crown or not, I traveled to one of the largest durian orchards in Lum Can, part of the Dom Nai province. I 
I met with Uncle Tu today who owns a four hectare durian orchard. Although he's not a local here, he spent nearly 15 years of his life living in this balsatic soil region to grow this so-called king of fruits. Hồi trước là chú ở bên uh, thành phố. Yeah. Sao chú muốn dọn ra đây? Thế tại vì khi mà mình về hưu á, ừ. rồi mình lên đây mình mua đất, mình làm vườn, ừ. à, cho cái không khí nó nó mát mẻ. Vâng. À, còn ở dưới thành phố thì cái không khí nó nó không bằng ở đây. Đúng 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 đúng. Với hơn nữa là nó ồn ào. À. À. Chú ơi chú, cho cái đời của con, con muốn ra một cái trại sầu riêng. Bên mỹ thì không có. Trong cái mét đất của chú, chú có bao nhiêu cây? Khoảng 8, 800 cây 800 cây? Rồi một cây được bao nhiêu trái? Một cây nếu mà cây lớn thì khoảng chừng khoảng 3-4 tạ Wow! 3-4 tạ là một một trái thì trung bình nó khoảng chừng 4 kg, 3 kg vậy à. Chú ơi chú, cái trái này phải không? Con nhìn nó bơ, thật là bơ Bây giờ chú cần, cần lên đó con cần, cần, cần hái không? À, bây giờ cái sầu riêng á, thì cái trái nó nằm ở trên cây á ừ. thì nó, nó nằm trên cái nhánh á vâng. thì mình muốn hái cái trái đó thì mình phải leo tới cái nhánh đó đồng thời mình phải có cây dao mình mới cắt cắt mình mới thải xuống dưới thải xuống dưới đất á, thì thì có người người ta hứng để những cái trái mà nó tự nó rụng á, ừ. là nó phải tới già chín cái trái đó mùi nó thơm có trái nào buổi sáng nên nó rụng chưa Uncle Tu told me that in his garden durians fall every day He's taking me on a search to find any durians falling off fresh this morning. Immediately, I saw one of the biggest durians ever lying under the tree. This durian fell from the sky. It is truly a ow, It's truly a godsend to uh, to have such a humongous durian in my hands. Right, the spiky, the smell. It's, it's glorious. It is truly a glorious. It's truly the king of all fruits. This durian has a crown. It's obvious, isn't it? The durian physically has a crown, a ring of thorns encircling its mighty stem. Now mango has no crown. Neither does avocado. No crown, no king. Chú ơi chú, cái trái này nó có chín chưa? Chính rồi. Chính rồi hả? Rồi, để cô, cô khui cho ha. Ừ, ok. Rồi, cô khui. Để cô khui ah, cho. Ah, ah. <cười> Now they say that it smells like your uh, your kitchen is gonna blow up. The, the gas smell. So you come from the bottom. As you can see, the, this, the outer layer is really thick. If you ever fall asleep under a durian tree, I feel sorry for you. Wow, there it is. Check it out. This is nothing like you've ever seen before. It is glorious. Once you cracked open this glorious fruit, the taste of durian actually is sweet, delicious, and healthy as well. Let the custard-like fruit hit your palate, and you'll forget everything they say about the disgusting smell of rotten, mushy onions. Luscious. Custardy. It is really, really good, guys. I mean, I know the smell can get to you, but if you can just get past it, it really is the king of all fruits. There you go. Enjoy. I know I am. Long Ken is not only famous for its durian but also for its many other kinds of fruit, including rambutan. Being in this rambutan orchard reminds me a lot of my childhood memories. I used to play soccer under the trees with my friends. After sheer exhaustion, we'd often lay down on the grass or climb trees picking whatever fruit was ripe to eat. Nowadays, when kids grow up in the city, they typically only pick fruit from either supermarkets or the fruit and vegetable roadside stands. 
humans have limited exposures to picking fruit in its natural environment. When buying fruit at a supermarket, it's a lot different because you don't know where it comes from. You don't know the farmers, you don't know the land, you don't know the hours that were put into bringing that product to the market. Seeing them put their passion into it and putting their whole livelihood in making that amazing product and standing behind and being proud of it, that truly was an eye-opening experience. Take a wild guess at what I'm doing right now. Is this a mimic battle? What do chefs do when they're hungry? Hi guys. Of course, the answer is cook. But first, we'll need some ingredients. See, I'm different than other chefs. I plan to catch my own dinner. Okay, I am about to catch a chicken. I've never done this before. I have no experience in chicken catching. However, I'm gonna stay really low and really quiet. And maybe, just maybe, I can catch this chicken. I'm gonna use this banana leaf and I'm gonna try to catch this chicken by pretending I'm a tree. If I can catch this chicken, I have to be the chef of the year. Do you have any idea how fast a chicken can run? No, this isn't a joke. I had no clue of what was in store for me. But man, that thing was fast. Let me tell you this, it was the hardest thing ever. She squawked and fussed. But finally, finally, I was able to catch her. I got it. I got it. I got it. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Sorry, chicken. Come here, come here, come here. I just caught a chicken live on camera. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Let me grab this. There you go, guys. Live on camera, catching a chicken here in Lumken. Can't believe it. I can't believe I just did this. What an adventure today. I mean, we've been doing everything. But hey, what's going on here? Why are two guys in a big hole in the ground? Let's find out, okay? Let's find out. Hello, bạn. Có hai cái chậu có nước đang làm gì vậy? Dạ, đang bắt cá. Sao mình có cá hả? Dạ. Oh, mình muốn bắt cá luôn. Ủa, mình tham gia được không? Dạ, được. Ok, ok, bây giờ mình làm nhé. I cannot wait to do this. Yeah. Back in my hometown, I sometimes went out fishing with my friends. We often fish in the San Francisco Bay, which provides some of the best fishing in the United States. Today, I'm helping these locals catch fish in a pond. Together, we'll build the water out in hopes that we'll be able to catch many kinds of fish. I got it right. Oh, 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 oh. What's this? Oh, here, man. Come. Look at Nando. This is magical. Watch. <laughs> I want some fish. I want a basket of fish. Please get me fish. I got fish. Gia đình của tôi là ở trên quận 7. Tôi sống và làm việc trên đó.
ở trên đó có những cái lúc kẹt xe mưa thì ngập lụt thì tôi chỉ ao ước rằng là mình sẽ có được một cái sân vườn những cái trái cây quen thuộc Starting from a small dream, Dan Yumi decided to settle down here in Lom Kang, despite the fact she's not a local. She has set up this beautiful garden for herself in this dreamlike land. Trong vườn của tôi thì rất là nhỏ, tôi chỉ trồng chanh dây, chôm chôm, măng cục, bòn bon, sầu riêng, mỗi thứ chỉ có được một vài cây để cho nó có một cái không gian chung. Khi về đây thì mình cảm thấy nó nó nhẹ nhàng lắm. Hi Mi. I love this time of the day. This is the part where we start cooking. It's uh, an afternoon. We went to go pick, pick durian today. And these are for you and me. Hôm nay mình món đồ món gì? Hôm nay mình sẽ làm món gà quay lu mật ong sầu riêng. Gà quay lu mật ong sầu riêng. Yeah. Món này ngon, đặc biệt ghê. Món này là món đặc trưng của vùng miền ở đây. Vậy hả? Bên cạnh món này thì mình có có thể sử dụng bằng cái trái sầu riêng này mình sẽ nấu một nồi chè sầu riêng. Rồi đây là những con cá mà lúc nãy anh đã cùng với các bạn bắt lên. Đúng rồi, thì, đúng rồi. Thì chúng ta sẽ nướng cuốn nó và nướng lá chuối để chấm với muối ớt. Okay. Sầu riêng, cái món này là cái món đặc sản của mình này phải không? Dạ. Yeah. Nó ngon, nó thơm, nó hơi đau một chút. Sợ không? Anh sợ đi. À! Just kidding, just kidding. Ok, bây giờ mình chặt ra đi. The challenge of opening up any durian is legendary and as basis for many jokes to come. The durian fruit is about the size of a soccer ball, quite heavy and covered in spikes. The outer flesh is thick and tough and can be difficult to open if you don't know what you're doing. But with the help of me, I've managed to open up a durian for the very first time. Absolutely amazing. Maybe I'm going to put it in there. The main ingredients in this recipe are as follows. Fresh durian, organic honey, black pepper, dried shallots, chopped red chilies, and dark soy sauce. Mix all the ingredients together to create a thick paste to marinate the chicken. After the chicken has been marinated well with the spices and durian sauce, Mi puts it into a big pottery jar and grills it for over two hours. While waiting for the chicken to be cooked, I grill these magical fish in which I caught after working continuously under the hot blazing sun. I love grilling fish over the open flame like this. You wrap the fish in banana leaves so it keeps the moisture in without burning the fish. What happens is the banana leaves will start crisping up and charcoaling. And you get this great smoky charcoal flavor from the fish. When you see the fish burning, make sure you keep moving it around. This is gonna be great. A little bit of sauce, a little bit of lime and salt and pepper, an amazing, amazing dish. the king of fruits will finally be able to reign in the dessert kingdom. While we all know that there are endless array of durian desserts to choose from, Mi made the greatest form of durian dessert that every durian lover must try, durian sweet soup. Đối với tôi thì cái nguyên liệu ở tại tại đây được hái từ ở trên xuống và được chế biến liền, nó rất là tươi, rất là ngon. I love how Vietnamese use fresh ingredients, especially fresh fruit. They use it to sweeten up dishes, add texture, and really bring a different depth and element to every dish. The fish look done. Go to remove the uh, banana leaves. Beautiful, beautiful fish are perfectly cooked. You can see that it's basically just falling apart off the bone. So that's what you get when you cook on the grill. You get great smoky flavor. You get nice, moist, tender meat. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this. We're looking here now. Chicken looks perfect. Come on in. Tell us chicken. Chicken has great color on it. You can see the skin is definitely crispy. Oh, I'm ready for, I'm ready for this. I'm ready.
Finally, it's time to eat. After a hard day of work, we can freely enjoy the fruits of our labor. These are simple yet delicious dishes we can all enjoy together. I think Miss Me has to be one of the most hospital hosts I've ever met in my life. She really opened her arms and welcomed all of us in, into, her, into her world. We got to uh, see from her concept of building the garden to actually picking fresh vegetables and cooking with it. That was a great experience. My idea of heaven is sitting down on a lazy evening with some great food, aromatic coffee, and an old favorite cookbook. I would flip through the pages, reading recipe upon recipe, seeking new and inventive ideas for dishes to come. But right this moment, I can see heaven right in front of my eyes. Truly really delicious. The sun sets over the horizon. I am sitting here in front of a huge feast for a gracious host and a beautiful scenery. I can ask for anything more. Thank you so much for bringing us here. Everything here has been caught and farmed within these grounds. I truly hope you can find your tranquility out in nature. I'll see you guys next time. My journey in Dong Nai province hasn't finished just yet. In the next episode, join me in Tanchu Pomelo Village to discover different kinds of dishes made with this amazing fruit. And then we'll visit a cacao farm to see just how they make chocolate in the Fu Hua commune of Dong Nai. Finally, I invite you to come join me in my world, Sancho Cantina, where I'm gonna show you how to make amazing Mexican dishes using these special fruits of Vietnam. <laughs>